to make an eco brick and what you'll need. First of all, you'll need your two liter bottle, you'll need a pair of scissors, your earth one, and all the plastics that you are going to be incorporating into your eco brick. As you can see that I have decided to add masks, although it's not plastic, it is something that we use a lot during COVID and end up on landfills and in the ocean. I've also decided to use some styrofoam, which I'll cut up and add into my brick. Um, styrofoam is one of the materials that does not disintegrate and as re is really harmful to our environment. How to fill your eco brick? First of all, you'll start by taking the cap off and ensuring that all the plastic is removed from the bottle and that it is clean and dry on the inside. Then you'll start by adding your base color. For I have decided to use black, so I'll start by inserting my, my base color. I've decided to use soft and hard plastics, as well as styrofoam. Creating a base color allows for a circular design. This means that when your eco brick is used for construction, you have the ability to create patterns and pictures. As you can see, at the bottom, black will be my base color. I will use my earth wand to press it into the pockets of the bottom of my eco brick, ensuring that it's nice and tight and compact. When you have added about two to three centimeters of your base color, you'll start by adding your next color and different types of plastic. What not to add into your eco brick? You should not add food waste, metal, glass, or paper. By adding these components could compromise the durability and strength of your eco brick. As you can see, I have added more plastic into my eco brick. The, comp the plastic is now spread equally into the brick. It is extremely important to use your earth wand regularly to push down your plastic, filling up all the open spaces at the bottom, creating a more compact and durable eco brick. This will allow for the eco brick to be nice and strong and be able to maintain lots of weight. Here are some do's and don'ts for your eco brick. What you can add to your eco brick. You can add styrofoam, plastic, bags, packaging, straws, and clear plastic. It is extremely important to remember when adding these materials to your eco bricks that they need to be clean and dry. If not, they could cause mold to appear in your eco brick. How to know when your eco brick is the correct weight? After filling your two liter bottle with all your plastic waste, you'll need a small kitchen scale to weigh your brick. As you can see, my eco bricks weigh 605 grams. In order for it to be viable to use for construction, it needs to be 660 grams. My eco brick is filled to the top without it overflowing. It's nice and strong and sturdy. What I will do now is add dry sand to my eco bricks to get it to 660 grams. It is really important to remember that the sand you add needs to be completely dry, otherwise, it will add moisture to your eco brick and that will compromise the strength and sturdiness of your brick while using it for construction. To label your eco brick, I will be using nail polish. It is important to avoid permanent markers as it does not last on the eco brick. I will be adding my name, the weight of my eco brick. How to store your completed eco bricks. Your eco brick should preferably be stored indoors, in a cool and dry place, off the floor, and out of direct sunlight. It's time to build. 
Once you have enough for your project, start building with the eco bricks you made. When we come together to nurture our environment, we build a sustainable future.